And that's excessive news. Oh, oh excessive. Uh, excessive. <laughs> Submitted by King Taco is the best. It is! What? Absolutely not. I like it. I but I do appreciate that you guys are open really late and you have uh, coverings. Oh, because it's not oily. Uh, that's what the part that I hate. They have a shit ton of fat on their meat. No, they don't. I would track macros so they don't have a shit ton oh, of fat. Chewy, or not fat, then tendons. I don't know. Uh, you know what? The quality is not that great. Yeah, it's not that great. I like the way they marinate their meat, so Same. I'm with you. Very limey. Yeah. yeah. A California couple sues the police for wrecking their house just to capture a homeless man. <gasps> <laughs> Did they wreck their house? They're like, they wrecked it. They're like superheroes. Like, you know when they're trying to save that, that town or whatever, and then they start fighting and they fucking break down all the fucking buildings yeah. and they fuck up the roads? Like, like, we got them! Yeah, so this incident actually took place last year. The reason why this is news right now is because this uh, Fresno couple decided to file a lawsuit. Oh my god, it is Reno 911. Fresno? Uh, oh. <laughs> Damn. This took place in Fresno County. Can you pull a gun on a cop if he just breaks into your house? I don't know. Freeze, motherfucker! You're not gonna destroy my fucking house trying to catch homeless people. The, yeah, did the homeless man run into the house or yeah. something? How, how did this happen? Was he even in there? So this took place in Fresno County and David's home was completely trashed after yes. the police raided it and so... What did the police do? He, he thought the... Homeless man was hiding in trash cans, so he just keeps dumping them. No, so um, there was this homeless man that was actually in this house that was vacant, that was right next to the homeowner David's house. Oh, it was oh next so he went to the wrong house. So no, no, no. So, so this homeless man, yeah. he was in a vacant home, and yeah. so construction workers were actually going in there oh. to like make to do some work on this house. Yeah, right? so he was a squatter. And so like they're shooing this homeless man away, right? And. So, <laughs> And so this homeless man actually goes and he decides to break into David's home. Oh, fuck! Okay, and so he breaks into David's home and so that's when the police were called. And so the police were called in and uh, about four officers were there and they were just trying to handle the situation, right? And so they decided to call David and be like, hey, there's a homeless man in your home, right? And so David goes back to his house and um, the police officer was asking him, like, okay, is there anything in your home that you have? Like, do you have any weapons? And so he said that he had two unloaded shotguns and a handgun. And so um, when the police officers were yelling at this homeless man, saying, like, hey, come out, hands up, the homeless man didn't want to come out. And they're just like, oh. like, he was pretty much threatening. He's like, oh, you know, like, I'm going to shoot you, right? The homeless man was saying that? The homeless man was saying it because. No, no, no. So the homeless man was saying it. Um, he was like threatening. He's like, yeah, if anyone tries to come inside, like I'll shoot you guys, right? And so at that point, that's when the police was like, okay, David, can you please leave so that we can take care of the situation, right? And so David was like, why? Yeah. This is my motherfucking house. Well, I mean, he he complied because David actually tried to get get into his house. Like he got the house key, he tried to unlock it, but the homeless man locked it. So, oh, so they had a. What? <laughs> <laughs> give a fuck. If that's my house, I'm gonna stay there. And so, and so the police was like. Okay. Well, David wasn't home during this incident, right? David had to get there. Yeah, David had to get they there because them. because the police called him over, and so. Uh, the and then that police asked him to leave, right? Yeah, they asked him to leave so that they can take care of it, and so then. Um, no, I'm staying there. I would just watch. Like, why do I have to leave? Because it could get dangerous because like Yeah, but I just watch from down the street. I don't have to leave. It's I would be so fucking irritated if I put my key into my fucking keyhole. I go clack I go clack clack. I'm like, hold on a second, what? <laughs> clack clack! <laughs> this bitch. Like I get fucking I'd probably tell the police, yo police, uh you guys leave because I got this situation taken care of. When I have the dead body, you guys come and pick his ass up. But All you gotta do is hang a fucking sandwich out the door. Why so you would still stay outside of your house knowing the fact that he may potentially have a gun on him? Because he He don't know where my guns are hidden. I got guns hidden under rocks. Maybe in the front David yard. had him because we know Davids are dumb. Maybe he had them <laughs> <laughs> on the wall, like mounted. <laughs> like Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, Works for everybody to grab. The police officers didn't know if the homeless man had his own gun or if he encountered one of David's guns. But then David was saying, like, no, I've hidden the gun so well that no one could find them. Where is it? Under my pillow. <laughs> I don't know. And it was never stated. But so, like, the officers told David, like, hey, 
um, we'll, we'll take care of it, right? And so David was like, <laughs> sure, right? So he told his wife and he told his family, like, okay, so like, let's all relocate to a friend's house in the meantime, right? And the friend's house was only about 10 minutes away, right? So only that's fucking far. So him and his uh, family they go over to his friend's house, and then David he had like a whole bunch of farm equipment in his truck, so he decided to drive back home just to drop it off. But on his way back, he saw a shit ton of SWAT cars and police cars, oh, and he saw like um he saw a fire truck. And then why does he think that this is the perfect moment for him to go and return <laughs> shit at home? Like he'd probably be done. <laughs> Maybe if we just didn't, we'll just give. Stupid David the credit <laughs> and benefit of the doubt and stupid yeah. David was just like all right I need any excuse to go back home so I could see what's going on mm. Or maybe he couldn't fit his family in the car because he had all the equipment in I don't <laughs> yeah, know that too. Well, Either way he had to drop off equipment and he saw all of like all these cars going over and his house was on fire <gasps> And so he was like what the heck is going on? That's where and our then, money's going to huh? And then he went and he like drove back to where the rest of his family's at and so um, a few hours later he gets a call from the officers like saying, hey, uh, you can go back home now. Like, it's, everything's all cool, right? Yeah. And so he goes back home and everything is just destroyed. Blood like, walls. walls were torn down, doors oh, were ripped off, like windows Walls were, were torn down? Yeah, yeah, walls were torn down. For and one then, like, guy? Each room, yeah, each room was like, nearly like, was tear gassed. Like, there's a lot of tear gas to the point that nobody could live in it. Why was it? So what the, the fuck? So they spent thousands and thousands of dollars to try to catch a guy. A homeless guy. But they could have just thrown a sandwich, some clean underwear, and like a cup of change. And that guy would have came right out. Yeah. Like, I would have, like, if I'm a homeless dude, and they're like, David, so, we have a sandwich outside, some clean underwear, and some breath mints, and a 20 bucks. Come outside. I'm like, <laughs> Instead of, so you're going to leave the brand new home you just got? You just got your for yourself, or you're gonna leave that brand new home? Wait, I'm not gonna live there forever, obviously, but if they entice me with a sandwich, I'm eating that fucking sandwich. The police There's department doesn't have to pay for any of that shit. So apparently, that's the state has to pay for it. The state, ha they have to. Or couldn't they just like knock the door down and then let a police dog inside? Yeah, the, he'll come out quick. They, yeah, they had a canine unit. Yeah, they could have just, that fool could have just took his ass down like one second. I think they were just going over. I think mm -hmm. in this town, in Fresno, yeah. there, nothing was happening. And they're like, exactly. yo, we gotta use the SWAT. That's that's what the lawsuit yeah. is claiming. It's yeah. like they found like they felt the SWAT team and like the police department felt like it was the opportune location to like actually run a drill. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh my sucks. god. So they're saying like yeah, like to like run a drill and then also like to um, use use those resources. So do you think there was really a homeless person there? There was a homeless person oh, okay. in there. Yeah. Yo, it's just they kind of use it as an excuse just to go full force and see what it's like. They got a helicopter. People That's fucking really rappelling up. down. They didn't even try to like offer compensation or like try to help clean up the house. So as soon as David got back to his home, right, he was encountered by two officers. One officer said that the operation was concluded, and then another officer handed uh, David a card and verbally saying, "We have insurance for this." Oh, uh, okay. But. The thing is that this is David's word saying that like this officer said that we have insurance for this So I don't know if they actually said it or not, but or do you know what the card was? I'd immediately start taking was. pictures. Yup. Finding a lawyer have them come over while everything's fucked up. Fucking shit out of them. Yep. They better give me a nicer house Damn. There's a lot of things that just cost is it's not worth money But it's like worth more than money like what if they fuck up family pictures? What if they fuck up things that were passed down for generations. Yeah, there's just a lot of things that you just can't rebuy. Damages were more than a hundred fifty thousand. That's crazy, dude. Ho ho ho. That's a, like a boo shit, dude. That's a whole house in Fresno, dude. Oh, yeah, they can't even live in that. House. So that's a down payment on a nice house. So, yeah. so they're suing the police, the police department, the department? for this, yeah, mm. because they're just like, well, it was like unnecessary it action, is. like. Sandwiches can cure a lot of problems, dude. People just gotta think even, sometimes. They didn't even uh, try to get their insurance to handle it either. That I I don't ha I don't know that information. What I'm assuming what I'm assuming is because like because the reason the, why they're having this lawsuit is like maybe they're like well maybe the insurance didn't come through. Yeah. Or, like, maybe there's not enough before. money. Yeah. yeah. Cause your homeowner's insurance is like fire, earthquakes. It's not against the police. Blowing it up. Right. You don't buy police insurance. Yeah. <laughs> no one buys insurance for fucking police <laughs> police <laughs> tanks blowing it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just fucking crazy. Dude, that's, that's some heartless shit though. The cops just decided, let's 
fuck with these. Like, who's protecting you from the cops? Yeah. And the homeless person only took an ice cream bar, some milk, right. and half a tomato. I told half you if you half just offered him a sandwich, you could have got him out. All he took was an ice cream he bar. He was just hungry. Yeah, he was just hungry. Ice cream bar, milk, and half a just tomato. Just buy a double-double, some fries, put it right outside. Mm. Would have came outside in a second. Mm. That's not like a good idea. That sucks. I knew it. I told you I know homeless people. Did you guys enjoy that episode of Just Kidding News? If you did, please leave a comment down below and share us your thoughts and your feelings. For more episodes, click right up here.